Research drives innovation. I'm Diab Kazam. I'm a senior engineering manager at Parsons, and I happen to be a, a researcher at Columbia University. We're here at the Carlton Lab, where we have done research for the past 15 years to advance the state-of-the-art infrastructure. When it comes to infrastructure, unfortunately, it takes a disaster to get a conversation going. Case in point is the collapse of the I-35 bridge in Minnesota in 2007. The sad irony was that the collapse was captured on surveillance cameras. It would have been much more uh, useful if we could have prevented that from happening by utilizing technology to predict the disaster in the first place and prevent it and save lives. The East River bridges, such as the Brooklyn Bridge, the Manhattan Bridge, Williamsburg, these bridges are over 100 years old. And we developed the technology here at Columbia to help preserve these bridges for the next century. The suspension cable is a critical element. If the cable fails, the bridge collapses. These cables are made of thousands of high-strength steel wires. We developed the technology to be able to unlock the mystery of how the cable behaves and develop miniature sensors that can be placed within the cable to measure temperature, humidity, and corrosion. The first applications for corrosion prevention techniques that was developed here at Columbia in injecting dry air into a corroded cable was first applied on the Bosphorus Bridge in Turkey. We have taken advantage of such technology on a new bridge construction such as the Karkinas Bridge in San Francisco. It was equipped with seismic and wind sensors and those sensors withstood the test of time. During the Napa earthquake, for example, we were able to learn more about the structural behavior of these bridges and how to optimize the design in the future. The city of the future, the Lusail city in Qatar that was built from the ground up, we applied the technology to monitor those iconic bridges during construction and verify the construction method and at the same time give us a higher level of confidence about our analytical tools and validate the design. We're here at the Carlton Lab doing a uh, groundbreaking research on the effects of fire on high strength wire that goes into the main suspension cable. This hasn't been done before and what we're doing here in this machine is testing a single wire under 700 degrees Celsius and you're going to see here the effects on the remaining strength of this wire which could reduce its strength by a factor of 10. My name is Adrian Brückel. I am the Director of Research for the Carlton Laboratory here at Columbia University. And we're actually standing in front of uh, Phase 2 and Phase 3 of this project, which we're performing in collaboration with uh, Parsons Transportation. Uh, if you look right here, this is the furnace that was built to actually be hoisted up onto our testing machine on about the second floor of our lab and it will allow us to heat a single 61 wire strand. Phase 3 of the project uh, involves in majority the large chamber or the large frame that is behind me. This frame will house in the end a 9,000 wire bridge cable that is full size as you would find on a medium scale suspension bridge. From that the idea is to understand what designs can be implemented on existing bridges as well as new bridges to defend them against fire incidents. Through our groundbreaking research here at Columbia advanced technologies and our global work, we are making cities safer, smarter, and more sustainable. 